Fotini, I really want to understand what it's all about and we want to understand what's fundamental reality. But everybody assumes that space and time is just sort of the given background on which this whole play occurs. The stage is space time. But Einstein told us something different. And now from a physicist like yourself, I hear some radical ideas. So what is space time? Um, okay, well, space time is space and time. So that, that's all it is. What is interesting about space time is that it is a dynamical plastic entity, that it actually cares about what happens in it. So if you, the, what Einstein says is that if you move in space time, you actually affect it. Anything that you do in space time changes it. So you do use, it's nothing exotic, you'll use a meter and a clock to measure space and time, but the answers you'll get will depend on what's going on in it. Mm. Uh, and the reverse, then the space-time will also determine what, where you're going to go. So we're very much so connected to space-time. That's space right. Time. It's, that's not, right. it's not a stage on which we, we're acting. It, 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 it changes us and we change it. Yeah. You know, that, that's a remarkable concept. Well, and in fact, it's probably more remarkable than we appreciate. Um, because in some sense, you, we are still making, and Einstein still makes a separation, that there is a space-time and there is a matter, yeah. and they affect each other. Yeah. But the thing is that the way that they affect each other mirror each other, each mm. other is, is, is by mirroring. That's what the Einstein equations say. You have basically the way the space-time curves equals the, what the matter does. <laughs> so, but... The, the interesting question is, is it legal to actually make that separation between the space-time and the matter? Um, so one possibility, for example, is that they're not really separate. The, the reason that we see that space-time and matter seem to just mimic each other mm -hmm. is because we've just made a funny separation. Maybe there is something more fundamental that sometimes we understand as space-time and sometimes we understand as matter. And the yeah. reason that they seem to be doing the mirror image of each other is because they're really the same thing. Well, that's astounding. <laughs> well, I don't know if it is true, but it is a possibility, and it is one of the things that we are led to consider when we are faced with the question of how good is the notion of a space-time. So the space-time seems to be, of course, very useful. You use it every day. And and even if you do fancy things in, in um, physics, such as trying to understand the mysteries of quantum theory, you don't ask questions about space-time, right? So you have quantum particles doing their strange quantum things in a totally ordinary space-time. But in fact, it's not correct. So space-time in itself does very strange things. So part of what Einstein touched upon is exactly that, that there are situations where the notion of a space-time is just not good. So if you were to fall into the black hole, you, you, we have some description that explains what would happen to you, but basically we do not know what would happen. So what it tells you is that when you fall into the black hole, you enter a regime where you have no idea what the notion of space-time is. And when we try to understand that, then we come back to these questions of have we been too simple, have we made separations and simplifications in nature? This is space and this is matter that are not true. They're really, they're really derived from the same fundamental entity at a more fundamental level. Possibly. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Yeah. Okay. But the, um, the corollary of this possibility is that space-time is not what we think it is, right? If, if that is true, then it is not really fundamental. So that then leaves you with a question of trying to understand the world without it. Uh, so if they are unified into something else, then that something else is a description of a world without space-time, obviously. And you tell me how to think about it, because I do not know that many human beings that can understand the world without space-time. <laughs>